back again back again back again i had a little fool like two seconds ago y'all please excuse my hair i have my hair in a hairstyle and it's still kind of wild i mean i don't know but anyway i'm here today because i'm getting ready to cook chicken carbonara so i have my ingredients already out can't you guys believe it I already have it out so of course i have chicken breasts my bow tie pasta my favorite my chicken broth my heavy cream salt and pepper all names on it <laughs> and i have my parsley and my minced garlic those are all the ingredients that i have so first thing first we're not gonna take all day with this because we don't have a lot of time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on the stove, turn the stove on high and begin to cook my pasta noodles. Now it depends on how much you want to cook, but it's only the two of us, so I'm not gonna cook a lot. And you guys know what? Of course I have dishes to wash, look at that. I don't know. I always have dishes to wash. Excuse me for the lighting. And the weather is so bad. So, is that better? I think that's better, guys. Yeah, I think that's better. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, while my water is getting hot, I'm going to go ahead and cook my chicken breast. I'm only cooking one chicken breast because it's just, you know, us. It's just my husband and I, and I don't have to cook a lot of chicken breast. So, I don't know about you all, but when I cook um, noodle pasta, I always put butter in it. Like, this a teaspoon of butter, or just like one. Um, remember how I always tell you all, it's good to get the butter that already have the tablespoons on it. So I'm only gonna do one cut that right at the line oh please comment below and tell me i really need something to like keep so i don't have to hold my phone while i cook because i really want you guys to see like every move i make or whatever excuse this thing because i was being um fat <laughs> I stopped at Dairy Queen and got me a Oreo cup confection. And when I tell you all that is the bombs.com, let me tell you something. Y'all just don't know what y'all missing because huh, y'all better go and try it because let me tell y'all. Look at that hair. Out of control! But that's okay. I'm not coming here to do a fashion show. I'm coming here to cook. And I'm putting my one teaspoon of butter in the fryer for my chicken. that when the pot looks like this when it's that that means your noodles is ready to boil okay so I'm going I'm going ahead and put in my bow tie noodles not a lot because for one I'm not hungry because I just had the ice cream so it's gonna cook for my little book ski maybe later on tonight I probably uh eat but right now 
I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that food right now. You know how sometimes you just don't feel like the eat eating? That's me. I really don't. Uh, first of all, it won't hurt if I don't eat. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Cause guess what? What I'm missing? Not a thing. So while that is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this chicken. This chicken need to get it together because I don't want my noodles to be finished before my chicken finish. You get what I'm saying? But it's doing its best, y'all. This is my first time cooking this, so guys, I hope this come out right. I'm following, you know, I follow the recipe. Y'all hear that? My chicken is sizzling. Don't play. Don't play. Oh, crrr. <laughs> Cardi B got everybody going, what food? But chicken breasts do not take long to cook. Like, it don't. It also depends on the thickness of it. If it's too thick, it's going to take longer to cook. And you don't want to overcook the chicken breasts. So, I'll show y'all what I'm doing. I get my chicken breasts. There we go. Now, this doesn't mean it's cooked. Because as you can see, if you look on the inside of this chicken... Once I start my sauce, then I'll get back with you guys. So I'm just going to be letting this cook. And then once I start cooking my sauce to go into the pasta, then I'll come back. Okay? Because this part is not entertaining. Okay? See ya. Okay. Now I'm back. <laughs> it's time for me to go ahead and cook my sauce. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in my three clove garlic. So that whole time I thought I was recording. So the last thing I talked about was adding um, three cloves of garlic. So after I add the Greek three cloves of garlic into the pot, because I'm making a sauce, um, then I added my heavy cream, which was this right here. I added my heavy cream and only needed one fourth cup of this. And then regular milk. Well, I use two percent milk. It's whatever milk you want, and you need a three fourth cup of um, milk. And now you need chicken broth, and you need one cup of chicken broth. One cup. I cannot believe I was not recording. Oh gosh. So with the chicken broth. If you have a canned one, I'm gonna show you and tell you a trick. Maybe you know it already. Maybe you don't know. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna put that down here. I'm gonna show you something really quick. If you punch a hole in both sides of the, like you see this hole here, and then I have one here. If you punch holes in both sides of it, it makes it comes out better. It makes it flow better as you as I was demonstrating. It makes the flow come out better. So you're gonna put this in as well. But what I'm gonna do, since it's in a pan, I'm gonna have to put it in my pot. Once your um, sauce start boiling, then you're gonna add your, make sure you cut up your chicken and then you're gonna add your chicken and then your pasta. And then you just let it continue to boil. And then once you do that, you're going to add your, how 
Parmesan cheese. And then guess what? You're good to go. So while this is boiling, while the sauce is getting thick and stuff, I'm just going to let you guys catch a break and then I'll be right back with you. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot to tell you all another ingredient. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just not in it today. Um, also, within the sauce, you have to add three tablespoons of flour to get the thickness of it. See how thick it is? So, what I'm going to do is just add some um, more salt and pepper for taste. And you're basically done. I just have to put the uh, Parmesan and parsley in. Parsley and the parsley is just for the cuteness of it, I believe. And you just put the parsley in. And this spoon that I have is a noodle spoon. I'm gonna show you, it is incredible. Like for stirring your noodles, it's so incredible. See? So incredible. See, I didn't cook a lot because it's just the two of us. And um, with it, I'm going to cook some garlic knots. So, this is already made. All I got to do is put it in the oven. So, that's about it for that, guys. I don't mean to sound down or anything, but guys, I'm like kind of tired. I guess that's what it is, but I really wanted to show you all the chicken carbonara. So that's basically all the ingredients. Like, I mean, it's right to the point and that's about it. So I'm about to go ahead and finish, stir this up. And then I'm going to add my um, Parmesan cheese, uh, the cold Parmesan cheese. Then let it melt and then after that i'm just gonna let it simmer and that's it and we're done so until another video i want you to like comment make sure you subscribe to subscribe sorry to my channel get this video thumbs up and see you on the next video peace